Aloha Sangha, Brother Echo here, and I'm in the parking lot of Trader Joe's. Why? Well, I'm bringing you another episode of Conscious Activists. Welcome. Today we're talking about olive oil. Now you might be wondering, what are we talking about olive oil for? In California at UC Davis, they have the UC Davis Olive Oil Research Laboratory, and they recently combined forces with the Australian Oils Research Laboratory to conduct a study here in California to find out if extra virgin olive oils on our shelves is in fact what it says it is. And the findings, the statistics, the facts that they have just published are pretty astounding. So here I am in Trader Joe's, and as you can see, there are quite a few different types of olive oil. Spanish olive oil, uh, this is the one I use actually that did not taste like olive oil. What they're finding is, is using standards that were actually set up by the USDA and the IOC, International Olive Committee, and you guys know the USDA is United States Department of Agriculture. They use their standards to conduct these tests, and they also use the standards of another more stringent test uh, by way of Germany. And they found that 69% of all extra virgin olive oils do not meet the standards. The oils have been cut with some other type of oil, like canola oil, peanut oil, uh, or any of those types of things. So, wow, pretty interesting stuff. I just left Trader Joe's talking to you guys about olive oil, and by happy chance I happened to come here and stumble upon Joelle olive oil and uh, Katie is going to tell us a little bit more about buying some authentic local olive oil. Well you know that you're getting the real deal when you buy California olive oil because California regulations are more strict on what exactly is in the olive oil. It has to be listed on the labels. Anything imported uh, they don't have the same regulations. They don't have to abide by the same rules. So you're not quite sure what's in that olive oil. Usually it's cut with something and dyed because that whole image of green olive oil is super important to some people who are used to, um, you know, what they think things are supposed to be like. We have a Baroni. The Baroni originates from North Africa. It used to just be a big black table olive, very delicious. Um, that one is more olivey, more traditional tasting. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a Spanish variety, that's the Manzanillo. It's grassy with a peppery finish. And they each still produce a very gold, deep color. It's not your green uh, olive oil color that you're going to see, but it's absolutely pure and full of nutrients, vitamins, and minerals. Can we hold it up in the sun just to give them a look at yeah, what? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that looks great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just floating around in there, and that's what you want. That's you want beautiful. This, you want the sediment in the yeah. olive that's thick. It'll only infuse itself. Okay. There, so. All right. Thank you, Katie, so much. Okay, you guys, uh, we stop here at the farmer's market, and I love how the universe works and just kind of lines up everything the way it's supposed to be. Now we're going to hop back into the matrix and talk a little bit more about those statistics and facts. So hang on. Okay, guys, there you have it. If you want to have good olive oil, the best bet is to buy local, buy organic, buy it here in California. We are raw vegans. We are vegans. We are vegetarians. We have all these different labels, but we need to be conscious people, period. We need to live a conscious lifestyle, and part of that is not only looking at, you know, is it organic? Does it have a USDA stamp on it? But we also want to be looking at the packaging. Is this packaged in uh, non-biodegradable uh, um, plastics? Is it packaged in just excess of things that doesn't need to be there? Um, the cleaning products we have in our homes, are, are they toxic to the environment? So all these things we want to take into consideration when we're out there shopping for our food, for ourselves, for our families, for our friends, not just the food, but our products, the whole gamut. Part of being a conscious activist is, once we have this information, is to get it out there and spread the word, get the word out there and share it with our friends. When I was out there just filming at Trader Joe's, I talked to about three people. Uh, one lady I talked to in the parking lot, what are you filming out here? And then I talked to two people inside of the store. When I got to the farmer's market, I talked to more people about it. Uh, so this is just part of the job of being a conscious person and doing good work in, in our communities and raising awareness. The thing is, is if we're buying olive oil that is uh, cut with soy oil, canola oil, and all this stuff, what if you're a person that has an allergy to peanuts and you go and buy olive oil and it's cut with peanut oil and you get sick and you don't know why? You know, I mean, worst case scenario, somebody dies from this. You know, maybe someone has already, I don't know. Uh, but this is really important that we look at our labels. It's really important that we demand the certifications that are out there that are uh, that are in place right now, that they are doing their job, that they are being checked on as well, and all these things are really 
doing what they're saying they're supposed to be doing. Uh, in the raw food and raw vegan world in this community, we don't have a system right now, we don't have a structure for anyone that is standardizing what it, uh, the labeling of raw is. So we really need to look into getting something like that organized because I know a lot of companies out there are labeling their food raw and it's actually processed food that isn't raw. So. Uh, that's just maybe that's something else we'll talk about later, but uh, I want to let you guys go I don't want to be jabbering on for too long. Thank you for tuning in. This is brother echo with conscious activists another raw song the channel peace love unity respect Remember you are the shining guiding light in this world. You have the power to manifest anything you want in this reality believe in yourself That's all that's it Namaste